curious to understand, I know from my experience of seeing uh, Cam McKim at Inform um, running a cycling team, it's a massive job. So I'm just keen to understand like, why you do it, why you're passionate about it. So I've been sniffing about the local area. I know there's only so many videos that I can do of me riding around Noosa before you guys get the shit. So it's time to mix it up. And there's a, I guess it's a new local emerging cycling team out of the Sunshine Coast. And this morning we're gonna go riding with the managing director of that cycling team. We're gonna go head out to the Sunshine Coast University and I'll explain why shortly, but this, individual who manages the team he's also a very well regarded legend of the track and is also a cycling coach so very excited to share this video with you today Okay, so I'm here with Ben Kirsten. He's a uh, he's a legend of the Aussie track scene. 30 national titles, he's won a gold medal in the Com Games, and now he's actually well got into cycle coaching with the New South Wales Institute of Sport. Yep. Yep. And now um, is the managing director of the Australian Cycling Academy. So we're heading out to the uni today. I'll talk to you shortly about why. But ben, can you just tell us a little bit about what is ACA? Uh, ACA, Australian Cycling Academy. It's a, um, a tertiary aligned program up at the University of Sunshine Coast. And uh, we're sponsored by the Sunshine Coast Council. So we've got lots of assets like dri to drive um, sort of economic impact with training camps and training programs all for the region and to drive people to come here, this beautiful area on their bikes. But one of our biggest assets is our um, men's continental race team, which has been very successful and um, all of this is only a year old. Yeah, and we were just talking before, one of your riders just won the Aussie men's <laughs> title, um, Michael Freeberg. So, just can you talk us through that? Was that expected, Michael Freeberg, from your team to win the Aussie men's title, road titles? Yeah, look, uh, Freebie is a freak. I rode with him on my last year on the road in the same team and uh, I've known him ever since and he told us when we we're looking to sign him he said I'm going to win road nationals and we said well give us a look at your today's plan and we're like okay you might so um yeah we brought him on as a really good mentor role and to guide the other guys as an ex-world champion but he uh specifically said you know three months out I'm going to win this and if I don't I'll come very close so um we supported him as best we could and he turned up and he beat the best riders in Australia and some really big teams and it's a phenomenal effort from him and really good for the team obviously so. Unbelievable. Yeah. And today we're uh, heading out to the Sunshine Coast University so what's what, what's out there for you guys? That's our hub, it's all our infrastructures there where they built us a service course, we've got a big office there and um, all the high performance training facilities are there and the staff, the riders are based there, they go to school there, uni there. And they do all their training there, so this is where all the action is.
So Ben, before you show us around here at um, Sunshine Coast Uni and your facilities, I'm curious to understand, I know from my experience of seeing uh, Cam McKim at Inform um, running a cycling team, it's a massive job. So I'm just keen to understand like, why you do it, why you're passionate about it. Yeah, as you said, um, running the team, it's a big enough job as it is, but I think I wouldn't be passionate just about running a bike team. I wanted to do a little bit more and um, in terms of the riders' development and all the things that I felt were missing in the pathways in Australia for, for developing cyclists, and that was um, you know education and, and um, mentoring and um, more, more relation to sort of high performance um, development, so what we could do for them. There were all the add-ons besides just providing a, um, a racing environment or a race team and a bike for them. So, um, you know, what we've created here at the Australian Cycling Academy is all of those things that we really wanted to do different and, and, um, and it, I guess it really stems from the two things, the, the tertiary alignment and the high performance alignment here at the University of the Sunshine Coast. Yeah, um, it definitely wasn't around when I was going through those pathways and um, yeah, it wasn't really offered or supported and I've just seen the, the real negative Im impact of that. Riders, um, when they eventually have to retire or forced to retire, they have no idea what they're going to do. Yeah, okay. And um, it just was really unnecessary. And um, unfortunately, in the last few years, a lot of our friends have sort of um, committed suicide and passed away. And I think a lot of that just stemmed from um, those development years and their cycling and uh, the, all, all of cyclists actually that, that have done this. And it's just a scary number and it's, um, it's not okay. And I think if we can do more in their development and give them more opportunities in life besides cycling, I think um, we can try, try and reduce the, that risk. Yeah, that's awesome. Mm. So can you, can you show us? Yep. So this is a... Um, so normally there's a lot more bikes in here, isn't there? Yeah, it's our service course. <laughs> so we look cleaner and um, a lot more bikes, but we've just received... Wow, look at that thing over there. So I'm, I'm immediately drawn to the attractive looking road bike, that Ridley. So you ride Ridley? Yeah, we do ride Ridley. We're very fortunate to be supported by them and um, FE Sports, who distribute them in Australia. Uh, they've so been you ride a... the Noahs or are you...? Yeah, we're on Noah's, that's a Noah Fast. Um, they weren't ready, they'd just come out, so they weren't ready in time for nationals, so fortunately for me, only staff got a couple of test ones, yeah. but they weren't enough for the riders, so uh, their last year's bikes, which uh, the same model, which is the um, Noah SL, yeah. um, they're obviously good enough, we just won the national title with Michael Freeberg, so they're on those this year. So Freeberg was on the Noah, was he? Yeah, he was on the Noah SL, yeah. not the Noah Fast. So yeah, okay. We'll yeah. Keep, keep that up our sleeves for yeah. next time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, cool. So what, what actually goes on in here, outside of obviously storing a lot of bikes that are not here at the moment? Yep. Um, so our mechanic sort of works here through the day, um, building stuff up. We've got some hire bikes that we have, some here, some out. What are the hire bikes for? For hiring out to hire, the public. Just the public? Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, so um, got yeah, yeah, we do hire bikes. It's a bit of a silly question, what's a hire bike for? But like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> we thought it was always a good, because you always got leftover bikes from the year before, you're trying to sell and that sort of thing. And um, yeah, we wanted to be able to offer something to the, the community. And um, I think hire race bikes was there and we do training camps and training programs. So they all sort of fit well together. Yep. Come for a camp, get a bike, get a training program and all done here at the university with our high performance staff. So um, it's all tip top. And you've got some other facilities. So this is obviously where you do all the bikes. What about, what do the riders get access to? Uh, we get access to everything. So uh, there's a gym over here. We'll go have a look at later. There's hot and cold plunge pools we can look at. There's oh, a cool. swimming pool here. Can we have a, I oh, no, wouldn't mind going to the cold yeah. plunge pool after this let's, morning ride. Let's go fire it up. We're all so <laughs> sweaty. Um, and then all the labs and everything are, are over here on the other campus that we have access to. What's so all the labs? Oh, those biomechanics and all the testing facilities. So yeah. yeah. So um, cool. yeah. Should we go check it out? Yeah. We're going to do some filming. Is yeah. that right? Yeah. So Ben, just in the gym here. So how do the um, how do how do the riders use the facilities there, and who writes their programs? Yeah, so the high performance staff at the uni, um, strength and conditioning staff, they they write all the programs. So so your riders have access to the full blown strength and conditioning coaches. Here. Yeah, yeah. Wow. So besides the odd five six staff we have at the ACA, we've got another ten or so that we have access to here. So we've got psychology and biomechanic and strength and conditioning nutrition etc so um yeah it's, it's a mini institute of sport yeah we'll call it mini it's quite big yeah and it's super cool and then um everything they've got is um individualized and all 
training sessions are run by the staff and yeah. so um, yeah we're not down here doing sit-ups with them we're, yeah. um, we're upstairs doing some planning so it's all good. How often are the riders in the gym like all? We've got them in three times a week. Three times a week? So okay. yeah we do, do a lot of uh, touch time with the riders every day so they're either staff are riding with them or they're here at the gym or at the ergo or doing Zwift sessions, so um, yeah. yeah, it's pretty nice. What are they doing, like beach weights or like full, full on strength? <laughs> Just all biceps, all biceps. <laughs> or are they doing like a lot of legs and core? Like what are they doing? We do live up in the Sunshine Coast, so they need really good bicep and ab combo. <laughs> <laughs> no, but um, yeah, people just think because you do road, you don't need to do gym, but um, especially coming from the Institute of Sport, um, where I was sort of developed as a coach, is just see how important it is for endurance athletes to have, you know, symmetrical strength and, um, you know, good activation and good core and all of that. So they're most, it's mostly core, yeah. to be honest, but a lot of symmetry and single leg stuff. So yeah. yeah. You would have spent a lot of time in places like this in your career. Yeah, too much. Yeah. It brings back bad memories. I think we should be soft. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> oh, locked. <laughs> so, that's, they're like chambers, are they? What is that over there? Yeah, it's the plunge pools. Yeah, right. Yeah. So how do you use these? Oh, they just use them for recovery. So hot and cold or just cold, yeah. um, usually. So after big sessions, they like to do it. So, um, I don't know, there's, there's a lot of study in behind it. Some people still aren't 100%, but um, at Have the you moment- Have in your career? Yeah, I used to use it a lot. Yeah, so back, it. back when I was riding in the dark ages, we, yeah. it was the latest thing out. And I just found it really good. Like you do a massive ride or a massive gym session and you jump into ice bath and you're sort of going home and your legs actually feel like they're recovered. So yeah. if it's nothing more than that, at least that's good because, um, yeah, there was a lot of swelling and tearing and stuff that you do to your legs, especially in the gym. And the ice baths were, were great. And the hot and cold, you know, getting the blood moving around and circulating again and getting all the, all the bad stuff out of your legs um, tend to work quite well. But I, I think jumping in an ice bath was brilliant after a hard session. Yeah, okay. So do they do it after just gym or also if they've gone out and done a massive ride? A bit of both and leading into competition as well. We'd like to try and do it after everything. Yeah. So okay, just right. keep them recovered, especially up here on the coast. Yeah. Um, with the heat, the sort of the training keeps on draining when you get home. You yeah. just can't slow, slow your metabolism down. So um, I think getting them in here and getting them in the ice bath has been quite good. Yeah, cool. Yeah. And I think they want to add one more sport in the future. Thank you. You've still got those big track thighs and hips there. Oh, Can't get rid of them. Especially when you're fat. <laughs> they just keep multiplying. <laughs> yeah, so this is our new office. So they gave us a bigger office recently. So yep. the USC has been really good to us here and I don't think you could get much of a better view. Yeah, that's fantastic. Um, and we've just started hanging stuff up. So we've got some posters. Um, we've got some photos we need to hang up on the wall. What are the goals for the for the team this year like what are you trying to get out of 2019 yeah look we had a massive year last year 54 wins 96 podiums in 10 countries so oh, yeah. in 12 months so it was epic um, that's in your first year in 12 months yeah straight wow. off the bat so uh it obviously really helped having the track guys in the team the national um and olympic track guys so yep. they certainly tallied up a lot of those wins but um uh for us this year i was like if We've relocated uh, four more kids uh, here at Sunshine Coast to go to uni here at USC. Right. So we'll have 11 people studying at USC next year. So it's nearly um, every rider bar the um, guys in Adelaide, the national guys will be going to university. Right. And then two of those aren't doing it here. So pretty much the whole team is going to uni here. So it's pretty awesome. And they've moved here and relocated and they train here every day in all the facilities. So. And saying that the big, biggest thing for us would be to really improve on that daily training environment for those guys and, mm. you know, integrating the psychology and the, the career mentoring and going, um, having daily um, touch time with them in the gym or on, on um, in the labs and all of that. Um, so, yeah, I'll, I'll chop off a few wins if we can to make sure that we're here having these epic training days with, the, with all of these guys and really making a difference there. Yeah, right. And what about longer term? Because obviously now you're setting the foundations mm -hmm. um, of the, the team and what you're creating. What, what are you trying to do over the next sort of five, ten? Or is it just building on what you're creating right now? Yeah, I think um, we just really want to nail this 
all of it. Um, not just the racing bit, but really have some big wins. So, yeah, have a bunch of guys turning pro every year and then a bunch of guys finishing uni every year, some guys going into the workforce, you know, and all yeah. of them being happy. Yeah. Um, and not, you know, living off the skin of their ass. So we're trying to... Um, we're trying to get them some work and employment here as well. So there's all these little things that the uni's providing. So they're going and doing public speaking and stuff like that. So the more of that we can add to it, mm. I think the better for them. And then long term, I think, yeah, we have plans to go uh, sort of, you know, pro continental or something like that. So, yeah. Um, yeah, we'll see how it all goes. That's awesome. Well, mm. thanks for showing us around today. Yeah. Really appreciate it. Coffee shop's just opened up downstairs, so. Go. There we go. Thanks, mate. Appreciate your time today. Yeah. Gotta to shake my hand now, though. Oh. <laughs> Thanks, mate. <laughs>